Oh man, this toothpick is the best! I'm not going anywhere without it! Like Batman and his futility belt! I can't get these locks open! Don't you have something in your belt? Oh yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, something that might be a roll-aid. I don't know, it's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer! I have some stamps. Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Peter, what are we doing on the waterfront? Well, now that I'm a toothpick guy, I like to hang out on the docks and look for boxes to train. Hey, kid, you think you got what it takes? For what? I don't know. Probably not. I hang out at the docks. Oh, yeah. He's got the fire in his belly. Okay, now remember everything I told you. You didn't tell me anything. We just met 20 minutes ago. Hey, hey! You and me and this toothpick have come too far to turn back now. Uh-oh. Hey, kid. You think you got what it takes? Sir, please! This man has minutes to live! Oh, yeah, he's got the fire in his belly. No way! Our friendship is over, forever! Quagmire is dead to me, like an Irish secret agent. It is done, then. Let us drink on it. <coughs> Any last words, Agent Double O'Reilly? Can I get one more? Well, that was awkward. Like a stranger trying to make conversation. Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode, No Sauce for You, <laughs> right? You missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I feel bad. Okay, Smokey, roll him. Hey! <laughs> oh, give me the bird! Give me the bird! If the haze office would only let me, I'd give him the point, all right. <laughs> Snafu. Situation normal. All. All fouled up. Hello? Dad, Grandpa burned us with a curling iron so we're at Farrell's ice cream. Would you come get us? I can't understand you. Stop calling me. Stupid foreigners. Oh, that's the other good news. Bud's not leaving. I told him he can move in with me and Bonnie. What? Peter, this is crazy. Oh, wait, you're right. I did it wrong. All right, Lois. When Peter decided he was going next door to live with Joe's dad, his wife was blank. Furious! Lois said furious. Let's see what the panel says. Robert Reed, what do you have? AIDS. Brett Summers? Cancer. Charles Nelson Riley? Cancer. Probably from AIDS. <laughs> oh, Charles, <laughs> you old popinjay. Our mattress still has the chalk outline from where my Uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. She poured boiling grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? I flipped it over. We'll never outrun Hookhand! We don't have to outrun Hookhand, we just have to outrun Joe! Crap, Joe's got the keys! Why does he always hold the keys? Because he knows we always leave him behind! Don't be so hard on yourself, Peter. Your life's not over yet. Come on, it's not like I can go back to school at my age. I'll never be a doctor. The best I could hope for is a male nurse who's probably killing all his patients. Well, I'm going home. Griffin, you have another eight hours on your shift. Now, what about your patients? They all died with dignity, God bless them. But first, sad news from the Quahog Zoo, as a baby panda on loan from China is undergoing emergency treatment for what appears to be tater tot poisoning. The Chinese ambassador was quoted as saying, Ooh, tiger mom, egg foo young, practice your piano math. I don't know, probably not that. You're watching Vanity Fair Magazine, the television show. The show where we read Vanity Fair Magazine to you. Garbage. 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 Table of contents. Plants 
of the seven clouds. Out, I may get to like it. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, God. Poor Dad. I know. She's humiliating him. Yeah, and everyone's just standing around doing nothing. Like the whole world during the Holocaust. Too true. Never again. Okay, now we've earned this gag about an anti-Semitic pigeon. Ugh, my allergies. And everything else. Just terrible. Choo, choo. All right, let's go. What should we leave for a tip? The food and service were both great. Give them the full 3%. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Choo, cheap, choo. This is why I hate going outside. <laughs> that was hilarious. And again, the global community's inaction during the Holocaust was unforgivable. All right, calm down, PP. Don't get your nipples in a twist. What the hell does that even mean? Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Are you wearing a bra right now? That's my business! Peter, sit down. You're making a scene. All right, Peter. Your sister's the real deal, so if you're gonna take her on, we're gonna have to teach you how to wrestle. So come on, come at me, come on. What are you waiting for? No, Joe, no, I'm, I'm not doing this. What are you, chicken? Come on, I'm right here. Bring it, Chubbs. Joe, I, I, I really don't feel comfortable. I'm right here, sissy boy. Come on. <sighs> come on, you still gotta pin me. Joe, you're laying on your back on the mat. Pin me! One, two, three. What are you doing? A pin's not to three, it's to 25. What? No, it's to three. It's to 25. <sighs> Four, five. From one. One, two, three. I'm gonna get out of this. Uh, to protect their homes, the beavers dam the river. No, 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 not that way. I, I mean, uh... I haven't seen such a beautiful bubble since I was a child. I'd like to see something nice in a pair of bedroom slippers. Confidentially, so would I. <laughs> My darling, what big eyes you have. How old is she? It's so cold it would freeze the nuts off a jeep. <laughs> 